uh, just, you know, there's not really words that'll put it into, uh, give it really good context, but for that group of kids to, to open up 1-0 in the SEC uh, in a game that, um, you know, even though it's the first one, it's against an opponent that's picked around us in the preseason. It had a, certainly, to me, a, not a first game of the year intensity. And I was just so proud of the way our kids really hung together. Uh, we didn't hang together so good at Arizona State, and we learned from it. And I thought it was the difference in the game tonight, along with a huge support from our crowd in the fourth quarter. Um, I heard a hog call in the fourth quarter of one of our games. It's usually just whenever the announcer gets on and says, hey, let's do it. That one was a spontaneous thing that happened about 77 times yesterday in this place. Uh, so for our kids to get one in the fourth quarter, I thought that was the difference in our fans to come out on a cold, icy morning uh, meant a lot to our kids. Can you kind of see what happened with Monk Steele at the very end? Yeah. Um, they were out of timeouts, so they couldn't draw up an inbounds play. Uh, Coach Todd Schaefer, who was on the staff at Ole Miss for a couple of years, I had him scouted very well, and we, we, we had seen a lob play. They put the big kid in. Uh, so we went front and back on the kid, and that left us with our back to the basket. And the kid tried to make a play, throw it off Mal, but Mal swatted it away. And believe it or not, one of our very first practices, we worked on that. On what happens if you feel the ball thrown off your backside, you're supposed to swat the ball away. We worked on it one day just kind of for fun. And I'll be dang if she didn't go out there and do it and get a steal. How do you think Williams and Thomas uh, played against, you know, some of their bigger posts? Awesome. Just they, the, the, and our, our guards helping down. We had, we had to mix it up on them. Those two kids are, are really good at what they do, and Matt does a good job of getting them the ball in places where they can be effective. We, we, we double teamed them some. We just crowded them some. We, we got the first play of the game, we got them to dribble it off their foot. I thought that set the tone. But Kiara and Taylor met them in transition 90% of the time the way we had talked about and just fought their, just fought their guts out. Um, they're at a size and strength disadvantage. But what we had talked about was as hard as they're going to be to guard on that end, you be equally as hard to guard on the other end. So when, the first, when Taylor checked in, we had told Taylor she had the green light. Check in, you flash high, they're probably not coming to guard you, shoot it with confidence. And she goes bang, bang, right off the bat. Uh, huge plays, their offense and their defense. You know, those two guys have really developed a good synergy with each other um, because of the, they have to foul some just to, to survive. Um, and, and I thought they battled all the way through because that's two good post players in our league with a tremendous size advantage. Do you worry about the technical at all? Yeah. You always do as a coach whenever it starts looking like a one or a two point game and you know you've probably cost your team a couple of points, but it was 11-0 in the fourth quarter at that point. Um, they'd come out, I've seen film, I saw what they did at Portland, I saw what they've done throughout the year in the fourth quarter when they turn it up a notch. Uh, and they started out 11-0 and our fouls started to mount and um, from that point on it was 11-11. So. There's sometimes as a funny way of working out after you get one of those things, you get a few calls. But I did worry about it. If we'd have lost by one, I probably wouldn't have slept very much. Anything else? Thank you. Yeah. Hey, we're plus on the rebound, aren't we? That's, that's a major win. And Dev getting in there getting another 11, right? Is that right? Is that how many it was? And we had several guards that got tipped balls. We could not get as high as Promise Taylor can reach. We just can't jump that high. She reaches higher than we can jump. So we tried to tip some balls around. I thought our guards picked up a lot of those kind of 50-50 balls, and we turned three or four of them into transition opportunities. Um, as I began to think it wasn't our night, we had two transition opportunities within the last minute. We, we dribbled one out of bounds off of, our, off of our knee trying to make a play, and, and we missed another one. But, um, you know, to our kids – and our staff, they got them ready. Um, they they didn't let it, they didn't let anything um, get them down today. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.